Hello everybody, this is Rolls of Winter Bros, and welcome to this video presentation. We're going to show you an overview of Volume 6 uh, in our Scripting Made Simple series, How to Manipulate Objects in the Scene. Here's a quick peek at the uh, table of contents in the PDF. Uh, this uh, tutorial comes in a, with a PDF version, full color and uh, illustrated. Uh, it also comes with MP4 and WMV versions, all in the same package. We'll cover seven different modules, which we're going to go over right now. In module one, we're going to cover some the geometrical elements. Uh, we're going to cover how the real world shapes, uh, like the a cube, uh, and let's say a, a plane or a point, uh, relate uh, to 3D space and 3D objects as defined in most 3D applications. And then in module two, we're going to get a little further into 3D space, and we're going to explain to you things like the uh, X, Y, Z axis, uh, how things are color coded, and how not to get lost. You can see here we've pulled up Dash Studio 4.10, and in here we uh, you can see this 3D axis which you highlighted, and we're going to show you how not to get lost in this 3D world space when you're uh, moving objects around or just doing anything inside the uh, the viewport here. And then in Module 3, we're going to move on to Parenting, and we're going to show you some stuff uh, about how to select uh, and view different uh, node components in the uh, Scene tab. We're going to teach you about Root Nodes, the, feet, the Fit 2 feature, which uh, as it relates to parenting, so that maybe that something has not worked right for you is going to suddenly make sense. We'll go over the parent-child relationship uh, on for nodes inside a scene. You can see here in this uh, scene we've loaded into DAS Studio. Uh, how we got this uh, female warrior behind this uh, dozer blade. And we're going to teach you some stuff if you look in the scene tab over here. How not all these things are underneath the Genesis 2 female. However, they will move. So we're going to teach you some stuff about Fit 2, uh, which doesn't quite align with the parenting scheme, but how things still stick together in DAS Studio for uh, objects that are uh, joined with Fit 2. And then in Module 4, we're going to move on in coordinates. Uh, we're going to teach you about the position origin uh, for nodes uh, when they're loaded into a scene. We're going to teach you about the axis coordinates uh, for the nodes. And we're going to teach you what a point is. Uh, it's uh, in the 3D space as it relates to 3D graphics in general, uh, whether it be uh, programming or other 3D applications. So it's good information you'll need to know about uh, what a point is defined as in the 3D world. And then in Module 5, we're going to teach you about multiple selections, uh, how to find the number of nodes that's been selected uh, in the Scene tab using script coding, and how the number nodes are numbered when you select uh, a different uh, amount of different nodes, uh, a variety of nodes in the Scene tab. They don't necessarily sequentially selected, but we're going to show you how that works. For instance, here in this scene with the Genesis 2 female, we're going to show you how that if you uh, selected this note, how to find all the information about it, or if you selected maybe the default camera and light, uh, let's see, the default camera in distant light 2, how the, the, with using script and code to differentiate those, how they'll be numbered in your script code so you can grab information that you're going to need later on when we get in transformations. And then in module 6, we're going to teach you about object sizing uh, for uh, objects you've loaded into the scene. We're going to Go over the bounding box and how to calculate the width, height, and uh, oh, width, height, and depth. Excuse the presentation here of the nodes within the scene. This uh, just ignore this width word down here. That should be depth. Thank you. Uh, inside this scene here, we've loaded with the Genesis 2 female. Uh, we're going to teach you about this bounding box. That's what we were talking about earlier. These little kind of lines you see around a node when it's selected. Uh, we're going to teach you all about that and how to use that to your advantage when you're scripting and you need to figure out how big or how much area is covered by a particular object that's in your scene. And the last topic, Module 7, that we're going to cover is transformations. This is going to be the meat and fun of this tutorial because we're going to teach you how to move nodes around in the scene using scripting code, how to spin them or rotate them around in the scene, and we're going to teach you how you can resize nodes using script code. Uh, in this scene that we've loaded in DAS Studio 4.10 here, uh, let me rotate it around. You can see all these versions of the Genesis 2 female. 
And all we've done is we've applied some code to each one individually to give them all a different look. Now, mostly uh, scaling is normally done outside of the uh, script code and done directly in a scene, but we just want to demonstrate really quickly that you can use uh, script code to to make these uh, objects uh, inside the the scene look different. And we're going to teach you about the when you get to the parameters tab over here the different transformations uh, available as far as scaling. Well, we hope this. Uh, presentation. This is a demonstration of what we're going to present to you in Volume 6 of the Scripting Made Simple series has piqued your interest. Uh, we hope you would uh, check it out on our website or at das3d.com. Thank you very much.